This video will take you through the steps required to create, format, and share a Google spreadsheet for tracking your time. First, click Create, and then choose Spreadsheet. In the top left corner, click where it said Untitled Spreadsheet and type in a new name. Then click OK. You'll want to track your time for 7 days and 24 hours for each of those days. If we know that our columns are each going to have the name of a day or the date, what you can do is format the way that information appears. So I'm going to click on row 1, which relates to all of these columns, and go to Format. Here under Number, I'll choose the best format for displaying this information. I can either choose Date or there's some more formats here as well. For instance, we could look at it more with the text or just with the date. Either way is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this and start typing in a few dates. Once I've put in two dates, Google gets the sense of the fact that I'm going incrementally. And so if I were to highlight these two and then click down here in the right corner until I get the crosshairs, I can pull it over to format the rest of my days in the week. We actually want to go ahead and give ourselves enough space for us to track the time. So I'm going to click on column A, then right click and choose one left. Now I'm going to start recording the places where I'll be tracking my time. For me, I typically wake up around 5.30, kind of early I know, but I think of that as when my day is starting. So I might go ahead and put in 5.30 a.m., but really before I go further, I would click on column A, choose format, and then go to number and choose how to format that time. So in my case, I might like to put in the PM that's usually useful to me. And so right here, that's a good choice for me. So I'd click that. So I have 5.30 a.m., 6 o'clock a.m. And now that I've put these two in, again, Google has a sense that I'm going forward in time. So to do this real quickly, rather than writing in the 30 minutes for 48 different pieces, I would click these two and then go to the right corner until I have a crosshairs and then pull this down until I get to 5 a.m. So just keep pulling this down and go down, go down, go down. And I think that's about right. And what it did is it, it switched to military time a little bit later on. I don't particularly love that, so I'm just going to go back to format number and make sure it gets that format for all of them that I'm seeking. And there we go. And so now essentially we have all the times and at the top all of the days of the week. And for your assignment, you really just want to go through here maybe once a day at a minimum to see what you're doing. And so mine would be wake up exercise, shower, and so forth. And you'd want to do the same thing. The key here is that over that seven day period, you're going to start to see where your time is being spent and maybe where your time is being wasted. And so again, start tracking these things once you've done them. And so here I am, it's the middle of the day and I know what I've been doing so far and I would put that down because it's more important to really keep track of where your time is going and what surprises are there. And so for instance, what if my entire day is I realize, oh, I was on Facebook for an hour and a half here and I could have been studying. These are the things we'll be looking for later. Again, just track your time for the seven day period. It's really important as well to be familiar with the sharing functionality. And so in order to do that, go ahead and click on share in the top right corner. And then where it says invite people, type in the email address of the person that you want to be able to share this with. Now I'm the owner and so my Gmail address is up there, but if I wanted to share it with anybody else, basically I just type in their email address here. Assuming you were sharing it with me and this were your spreadsheet, you would type in hensley.121 at gmail.com and select the name. And then you have a couple options over here. The first one is can edit. This would allow the person with whom this is sent to go in and actually make changes to your spreadsheet, change the formatting, change the text. That's an option if you're collaborating. In this particular assignment though, I would say the best option is can view. And this way the person that has the email address right here will have a copy of your spreadsheet through Google Drive and to be able to view it and to look at it, but you're the person in control. So you can always select that option based upon the purpose of your spreadsheet or your document or your presentation, all of which are available through Google Drive. When you're ready, go ahead and click Share and Save and you're all set. 